Welcome to Invest Success, where today we're going to break down another deal of one of our clients. So this client came to us with borrowing capacity in place. What we did was financially evaluate that situation. Uh, what we found was that the capacity was in place with the wrong financial structure. So what we did is went back to the lender, sorted through that and came to a better realisation to have them focus on the investment performance at a cash flow level to help pay down that non-tax deductible debt, which we'll go through shortly. So the next step for this investor was to go through some location research, some fundamentals as to why we should be purchasing in certain locations. So this particular investor wanted to purchase close to home here on the Gold Coast, but the restriction that he did find was that his borrowing capacity was likely going to lead him to potentially a unit or a townhouse. Now, was that the best investment decision for him? Absolutely not. So that's what the evaluation was all about. So once we realised the capacity and what was possible in the desired location of that acquisition for the client in their mind and educating and empowering them as to what other possibilities there were led us to a regional location in South East Queensland. Yeah, definitely. So we familiarised this client with a location in South East Queensland, the Toowoomba region. Now we went through the fundamental reasons why this is a very strong investment location for us. Through that education, uh, the client became really quite um, confident in this investment location, which led us then to identify a fantastic opportunity for him. Now let's talk through that a moment. So that opportunity, it was off market, through relationships that we'd built over a period of time. What else can we talk about? Yeah, definitely. This was a fantastic deal. And I mean, if you had one of these, you'd have a client for it every day or an investor who would like to snap this up every day. Because as Mark said, this was through building these on the ground relationships with agents. So after a call with this agent, what have you got for me, Josh? What have you got for me? I've got a client ready to act. He's finance approved. He wants a low maintenance, brick and tile, set and forget investment that's in a high growth location and it's going to achieve great cash flow. I've got just what you need, Alex. So I went and inspected this property and the real kicker here is that the vendor is actually still in the process of building their house. So all the owner occupiers who might've been coming through these inspections Mind you, being off market, there was only one other. This property did not suit them because the vendor had the wish to lease the property back for a short amount of time. So we've done a deal here where we've been able to have the vendor agree to lease the property back for a period of two to three months. Now you might be asking why this is of benefit to an investor. Well, when you think about when the cash flow or the rental income might start to roll in, when our client settles on this property, he's going to be achieving cash flow absolutely immediately. So what are the numbers? Let's talk about that. So you talk about opportunity analysis, we're reviewing the location, the type of property. Start to talk about the numbers. What do they look like, Alex? So this one was offers over 449. So we went in pretty close to that at 455,000. We did have a little more wiggle room in our budget, as we know, the, uh, the client had a borrowing capacity of 500,000. The vendor actually counted us at 470,000. We stayed pretty firm though, and we only lifted to 460,000. And there on that day, we got the deal done. But as I said, the kicker here is that the vendor is going to lease the property back. Now, part of this deal was that the vendor will lease it back at $460 per week. Which is a great yield for that particular location also. So great cash flow. So 460,000, $460 per week, rental income coming in from day one, all of this will be on a normal tenancy agreement with bond in place and things like that. And what it also then allows the client to do or the investor to do is at the end of that tenancy, we actually have access for the property manager to show the property to the next prospective tenant. So all going well, that cash flow should continue throughout the lifetime of ownership now um, with no lull periods in between where they won't be achieving any positive cash flow. And the good thing is we've validated that, but not just purchased the property off market, we really validated that number for when the existing vendors leave based on the current lease back option, that we're going to be confident in achieving that ongoing and beyond for the client also. 
So, resulting in stress-free investment, and that's what this is all about. Absolutely, renovated property, hands-off, low maintenance, in owner-occupied type area, there's lots of development also happening around there, new Coles has just gone in down the road, uh, family area on the top of a hill, um, fantastic, solid, uh, stress-free investment for this client. Great outcome.